It was revealed today that the board of directors of Sri Lankan Airlines will meet President Maithri Palasir Sena tomorrow to engage in discussions on the future of the loss-making state enterprise. According to Reuters reports, Sri Lankan Airlines' losses more than doubled in the year, which ended in March 2017, hit by high costs of cancelling leases on Airbus aircraft and partial closure of the country's main airport. The state-owned national carrier incurred an annual loss of 27.79 billion rupees versus a loss of 12.08 billion rupees a year ago. According to Reuters, more than half of the company's loss last year was due to a compensation of 14.36 billion rupees for the cancellation of aircraft lease agreements. In such a backdrop, the Sri Lankan Nidha Sevaka Sangame, in a letter to the President, informs him that the national carrier has fallen to such a state due to false information being supplied to the President and Cabinet of Ministers. The letter further reads that as the only trade union headed by the President, it was their duty to reveal the facts to the President. The trade union points out that Kapila Chandra Sena, who was employed as the CEO of Sri Lankan Airlines under the previous administration, drew a monthly salary of 1.5 million rupees. According to the letter, new appointments were made to the positions of CEO, CFO, CAO and CTO after the change in power. It adds that one of these individuals draws a monthly salary of nearly 4 million rupees. The national carrier Sri Lankan Airlines is being run like a grocery store. It needs a proper leadership, administration and a business plan. However, we don't see a broad business plan based on a national need. The board of directors of Sri Lankan Airlines will meet with the president and the prime minister tomorrow. Discussions will focus on how to maintain the airlines as well as the restructuring process. There were several plans which were put forward but they were unsuccessful. There are some new plans that have been put forward. I believe that we will be able to revive Sri Lankan Airlines together with another partner. The Sri Lanka Freedom Party is against privatization. We wish to retain government institutions as much as possible. We have no issue with public-private partnerships involving both the state and private companies. However, we have not reached a final decision. There was an American company interested, but they backed out. Emirates had also expressed interest, and we need to look at them as well. The president will make a correct decision. We are hoping to tackle loss-making state institutions in a number of ways. One is to go for PPPs in order to come up with the required capital. We can also go into the stock market to gain funds. The best example is Sri Lankan Airlines. There is no point in the government pumping funds into it as capital. We hope to revive it through a PPP. As you know, we are attempting to resolve the issue and we are in a direct discussion with certain airlines.